Hello everyone, in this video I'll be playing Blind GeoGuessr in a competition organised by a good friend of mine and content creator, Harrier. Um, so the way it works is uh, 10 of us are competing, we are playing blind, we can't see the round, and Harrier is the host and he will be describing the rounds. Um, so yeah, he, he describes the rounds and we guess on chat guesser where we think we are. Um, so yeah, it was something really cool and really different to try. Um, uh, yeah, so this is basically the video from my perspective. Uh, uh, Harry, the host, and the other participants will all be making videos on this, so I'll link them in the description below, uh, so be sure to check all those out, and especially Harry, because he did an excellent job on this competition and is a really good content creator, so uh, definitely recommend if you don't know him already. So, um, yeah, anyway, let's get right into the video. I hope you enjoy it. So, let's go. We have a few vehicles further out in the distance, and I can com and blah, 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 what happened there? And I can confirm that we are driving on the right hand side. We have double yellow road lines in the middle of the road, and we have like a single white outline on both sides of the road. The area appears quite semi arid or desert like, and it is quite warm with mountains in the distance. We have plenty of shrubs, grasses and small trees that are sparsely scattered throughout the sand sandy like soil in the distance. We also have a yellow pentagon school sign which is above a square yellow sign that reads 40. We also have direction signs to the right of us. Firstly we have a diamond sign with nine like smaller smaller like yellow diamond reflectors within that with like a black outline and this is connected to another sign that is green that also has text on it and on with this text you have a green sign that has a white arrow pointing up the road followed by the word ajo and that is spelled a j o and we also have another part of the sign that says Tucson, which is spelt T-U-C-S-O-N. That is pointing the opposite way of the road. And on the top of this, this chaotic sign, I would say, we have a square ship, square ship sign with the number 86. It's quite blurred, but I can identify the number. But there is text above it, but I can't read what it says. The majority of this square sign is white with a little bit of black in the bottom left and the top right. Tucson, are we in Arizona first? <laughs> Surely. I mean, the. Yeah. Uh, everything seems to fit. Yeah, um, yeah. So. Um, uh, let's see if we can find that other town, shall we? Yeah, the other town was Adjo. Oh, I see Adjo. It's to the. I just see it now. It's to the west of Tucson. Quite far west, okay. along the 85, 86. Uh huh. Follow the 86, yeah. Okay, okay. So yeah. Somewhere between it. Somewhere between it, yeah. Uh, we had uh, hills, so that's actually quite useful because a lot of the yeah. in between is relatively flat. Mm, yeah. Um, did he mention the direction of the hills? I don't remember. Maybe near to like Mesh Fire or something. If you can see, uh, it's yeah, like that's halfway. exactly where I had mine click. Yeah, and, yeah, um, cool. It is halfway, but I guess. I guess the question is, why wouldn't it lead to why? Did, did it appear that we're on an intersection? I can't remember. Um, I'm not sure. It, it did sound like there are lots of... He's describing lots of signs, so that could indicate that it was... Close to intersection, there might be a lot of signage going on, so... It could be. Right. Right. I, I also feel like he, he might choose, like, a weird place name, like, like why. Yeah. I don't think he mentioned anything about houses, though, so... I don't know, do we still guess in the village? <laughs> That's the question. Mm, it does seem to be. Like, there's just parts outside there without buildings that... Still, yeah. Like, kind of, the stuff going on, like, near the cemetery or something like that. Yeah, yeah. How do we... Okay, I'll guess. Okay, and let's... Yep. There we go. Yep. Yep. Uh, yep. 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 As you can, as, as you can tell, it is that random suburb of Peru. I'm joking, it's not. And we had two 5Ks, actually, for 
from Anku's and Mate Potato's team. Nice. Let's go. Oh. Nice. Interesting. Like I haven't seen this round before. <laughs> okay, so first of all, we have several vehicles next to us and most are driving on the right-hand side. We have a Fiat Transit van with a long, thin rectangular plate right next to us, which is mostly white, but it has a horizontal blue strip at the top of the plate. There is also a shorter and thicker plate on another vehicle further down the road. We have some text on a large sign that is with, it's like almost shaped like a boomerang, which is quite interesting. And it says, Paso de la Patria. And I will spell it like this, uh, P-A-S-O space D-E space L, oh, blah, 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 what? L A space P A T R L A. We have some bleh? we have some roadworks going on to the slight left of us, with the road appearing very well tarmacked. We also have double yellow road lines in the middle of the road, and we are on a turn off, and I can see three different directions visible. We also have a red and white reflector on the side of a guardrail on the right of us. We also have concrete utility poles with one having, well, two of them are like connected to each other. And then there's another very thick pole next to it as well. We also have skinny but tall metallic st street lamps of some sort. And one of them has like a copper-like color to it. And towards the top, it kind of bends upwards. So it's like slightly more than 90 degrees the angle. There is evidence of palm trees or something similar to that to the left. And the vegetation appears to be more tropical or at least temperate. And I see a lack of conifers or any at all. And in terms of like terrain, it's very flat from where we're facing. And there are plenty of trees and areas of open field. Um... Well, well, the main thing that, this is a tough one, but the main thing that st stood out was the first plate with the blue strip at the top, I think, is a South American, like, Mercosur plate that you get in, like, Argentina, Brazil, and a couple of countries. True, true. I didn't even think of that, but that makes perfect sense now. Oh. Okay. It sounded like, um, so Paso de la sounds Spanish. No. Yeah, oh yes, that, yeah. It sounded maybe Spanish, but I can't, I couldn't rule out Portuguese, but it sounded like probably Spanish. Right. Um, yeah. Concrete poles? Yeah. Thick ones. Yeah. Connected well. Mm. That's interesting. Yeah, that was interesting. He said fairly tropical. He said no yeah. no conifers as well. Mm -hmm. I think so. Um, I don't know. And double Country double yellow lines. Let's, let's mm. bounce some, let's yeah. Bounce some ideas around. Yeah, yeah. Um, RG maybe? RG, especially north for like northeast RG. Let's see, so red and white reflectors. Red and white. The oh, yes. I I don't really know about reflectors very well, so... Um, well, I don't do think you it's have... for Chile. I think Chile definitely is. Okay, somewhere. yeah. I don't think Chile has Mercosur plates either, so... I'm thinking, like, somewhere... Yeah, like, as you said, like, northeast, maybe a bit north of Santa Fe, something like that. I think I, I agree, I agree. Yeah, I like, like a, yeah. I might guess, like, near to Cole or Santa Rosa or something. Mm -hmm. So this is what I was trying to describe. <laughs> um, and I'll make the map smaller because you can barely see a thing. Uh, but yeah, let's send. And we had three 5Ks as well. Damn. Um, nice. nice. Impressive. So first of all, we have several vehicles this round and they have a vertical blue strip present on the plate from the ones that are best in view. So some of them I just can't see the plate. So the ones I can see well, I see the blue strip on the on the plate. And it's rectangular shaped. We also have a large body of water to the left of us next to a small car park. And we are currently in line with a bus stop. And there is actually a bus stop sign. And this sign has an image of a black bus with one small window at the front with three large windows for the rest of the windows. 
And this is surrounded with like a white, well, it's surrounded with a white rectangular box, which is also surrounded with like a blue rectangular box. So yeah, we also have a pedestrian crossing sign, and it has a mannequin that looks like a robot or some sort of Terminator stance. I don't know what's going on, and um, what 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 the year? What have I said there? And the head. Year and head, how is it autocorrected to that? So the head appears detached from the body and the mannequin inside, the, well, the mannequin is inside a white triangle. And then there is a blue background surrounding that white triangle, like a blue square. There is also three black zebras, zebra stripes, sorry. So three black zebra stripes on below the feet of the mannequin. We also have a variation of architecture, and I apologize, I am terrible at describing architecture, but I will do the best I can. One of the buildings appears to be made out of brick, or at least the same color as brick. And it has a similar colored tiled roof and has one floor. This building is next to a sign in the same format as the bus stop sign, but has like a, uh, like the eye within like the white box instead of the bus. Um, thing. Um, on the road we're on, we have a black and yellow speed bump before the turning for the car park. And on the other side, we have a single middle white line in the middle of the road, and that starts before we reach like a cross, like a, like a crossing. And the crossing has a combination of long white and red rectangles. The pavement is well patterned, and they are shaped like rectangles. And the terrain appears mostly flat, and in and as well as that, it has a lot. It appears to have a lot of woodland, and I can't tell whether it's conifers or broadleaf, but there's a lot of trees. That's the best way of saying it. We have quite a lot of mown grass next to the bus stop, next to the houses, and in addition to the house I previously described, we also have a white building. Uh, I can't tell what the material is. But we have like a grey, or it might have a little tint of green, I'm not sure. But I think it's a grey tiled roof with with the white building. And you also have some buildings that have a bit more variation in colour. So instead of having a grey roof, it will have like more of a, a reddish roof. And the actual main building part is either yellow or orange. But yeah, there's quite a lot to describe here. I'm trying my best. But I think I've covered everything I need to cover, and I wish you all the best of luck. This, okay. What are your thoughts? I think like I'm not sure. I'm, I, I want to hear yours first because I have a, okay. I have a strong I have a strong sense of the two countries. I think it might be countries like like Poland and the Baltics stand out at me. Um, mm -hmm. I'm not sure about Denmark as well. Um, mm -hmm. I'm glad you're thinking the same thing as me. Okay, we have three. Dash is on the uh, crossing sign, so it right. be either Estonia or Lithuania. That's a great help, actually. <laughs> okay, yeah. fair enough. Okay, Estonia or Lithuania, probably, probably more Lithuania. I was feeling Lith over Estonia. I think they'd have more brick than Estonia. The crossing was actually um red and white, which is kind of interesting. Have you ever seen that? Yeah, we're the in town, a town. Yeah, we've got a body of water, so let's let's pick a, a nice town next to a lake. Okay. Thomas. Yeah. If only we had road angles, that would be... Yeah. Oh, yeah, tell she I. Yeah. But, uh, to be honest, some of these guys are so good at that. Yeah, they're so good, yeah, for Is sure. Is there a parking place? Um, I've, I've, I've oh, he's, he did say, right. yeah. In TLCI? Right yeah. on this lake. What else was there? Parking oh, lake. yeah, yeah. Basketball and a body of water. Mm. Um, in that town, you see what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I see, yeah. Parking that place. could be a yeah. shout. So there's a parking place right, like north of the lake, right? And yeah, I don't know where the bus stop. Is, not, is there a bus stop on that road, though? It could be, it could be unmarked. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think he could just be faltering in it for bait. He has been doing a bit of bait, so. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I like that's the decent shout. Though. Yeah. Okay. It's not too. I mean, it's not that central, but at the same time, like, no, it's not too bad. Even if it just ends up being elsewhere, that's... and also we hedge a bit for Estonia. Well. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, good shout. 
So shall, shall, I, shall I place my mark like right by the parking place, just at the end of the road? At the end of Telshis? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, okay, let's do it. Okay, I'm guessing. And I will make the guess now, and we'll find out where it is. And it was indeed Lithuania, but on the coast. Okay. So, we have a vehicle coming towards us that is driving on the right-hand side. Its front license plate is a long, thin rectangle with a vertical strip. And we're facing towards the front of it, and that red strip is on the left side. The road is paved, but it doesn't have road markings. And there is a lot of loose rocks or sediment on the sides of the road. In terms of the terrain... It appears mostly flat, and it is mostly covered with long grass, with open fields, with a lack of tr with a lack of trees or tall vegetation. There are bushes, small. Oh, well, sorry again. There are bushes and small. Uh, oh dear, how can I cannot pronounce that. There are bushes and small trees on the side of the road towards us, or to the right of us and the left of us, and. One of on the left hand side we've got a fence and the fences are more like cuboid shape, the actual post, and they are painted white, it appears, or it's some kind of well, it looks white. That's the best way of saying it. And finally, yeah, there's in terms of like hills, there's not it's fairly flat. There's a bit of there's a bit of an incline. There might be a, a hint of a hill really far in the distance. But other than that, that's all I've got. So I wish you all. Can you can you world. repeat the part about the license plate because I didn't really get it. So the vehicle is driving towards us. So we see the front of the license plate, and it's on the left hand side of us. And the red strip is on the license plate, and it is on the left from where we are facing. Okay. Okay, okay that red strip thing is confusing me a lot. <laughs> Mm. What is that about? I was, I was starting to think Kyrgyzstan, but now I'm thinking is Kyrgyzstan too mountainous for his description? <laughs> Are there certain um, places where it could look like that? Yeah. Mm. Then being near the lake could certainly fit. Yeah, um, I was thinking that exactly. Yeah, like um, what 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 is the what is the way with the old Bulgarian plates and the old um Albanian plates? Where do they have the red? Well, I think with the with the description, I I so I gotta ask you, did you catch what he said after he described the plate? Because I didn't catch that. Um, oh, he's talking about like how dry it was, kind of dry and yeah, I missed that part. Lots of shrubs or something. He, he said something about shrubs on both sides of the road. I think, I think something like that. Yeah. Long um, grass. Long. Oh yeah, know? long grass. I mean, long grass and stuff. It sounds kind of like almost that Mongolian steppe landscape, which might point more towards like Kyrgyzstan kind of area, but I'm not I'm not sure. Oh no 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 I do agree. I'm pretty sure it should be Kyrgyzstan. Yeah. I think the west of the lake could work. Mm hmm It's also a decent hedge. So um yeah. And a few flat places around there. Yeah, for sure. Sure. I think it's very deserty around there, very almost like orange deserty in some of those roads. Um right. yeah yeah no I do I do like that. Sure, okay, I'll go for it. Okay, uh, done. Well, yeah, let's see. Oof. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. And let's see where this is. I'll double check something before I do that. Yep, real. And it was actually Kyrgyzstan. But I've put it in an actual funny spot of Kyrgyzstan. Uh, my frame rate's going a bit bonkers right now. But <laughs> I'll get there eventually. But it's actually slightly like the road. It's you know, it's like that road that kind of goes into Uzbekistan a little bit. So the first thing I see here is we have a vehicle further down the road, and it appears to be driving on the right hand side. The road is well tarmacked without any middle road lines, but there is like a single white road line on both sides of the road. There is a total lack of vegetation along on the outskirts of the road and 
there is a large amount of gravel next to it. We have a pretty damn large lake in the distance. It is a very rocky and hilly stroke mountainous you know, terrain, pretty much, with a lack of tall vegetation. But there are small clusters of trees near the lakes, or near the lake, sorry, not there's one lake I can see, with the majority of the ground showing the exposed rock. We have a road chevron sign with three red arrows with a white background. We also have some skinnyish bollards, which are, ca are quite medium in height, and they are mostly white but have a thin red reflector. And there are no other colours present on the bollard. Finally, we also have a much taller pole thingy-majig. And it has a, has a few different colours on it. And I'll start from bottom to the top of the pole. So it starts off white, then becomes black, then becomes orange or maybe yellow. I think it's orangish yellow and then black on the top and once and for each of those colors there's like a like almost like a red sticker on the top of just before the color changes i was thinking turkey um yeah okay. with the especially with the bollard with the red do you see there's a bollard with the red strip black is that a uh turkish note? red and orange oh maybe oh yeah actually that that makes sense that does make sense. Yeah, I think so. Um, and the it's white, yeah, and the Maybe. white lines on both sides of the road sounds very Turkish as well, more than more than Russia at least. And the chevrons yet they fit as well, yeah. Okay, so we don't have many trees, and we're mm. on lake. Yeah, also fits quite nicely for eastern. I think so. He said a big lake. Well thought. He he said a large oh. lake. Yeah, he said it was large. Um, of course, we don't know the direction, so... True. Pick something fairly sizable. Could it be Van, ever, to think that out there? It could also be the bodies of water around, like, Elazig. There's some quite big lakes as well. And, like... I feel like you might see a few more trees, maybe? Maybe, yeah. I feel like pretty far east works. Somewhere from Van to, like, Tars. I feel like... Yeah. Yeah. I feel like Van works the best, maybe just because he said it's a large lake, but right. I, I, I suppose I guess, it could. I guess even a small lake kind of looks large. I mean, that's lake. true. <laughs> yeah, true. It could be the lake north of Kars, maybe, that big one. More or less. I mean, it's more hilly to the south and more mountainous to the south. Yeah, yeah. Hilliness might be might, might feel a bit better around, like, a bit east of Ezerum or something like that. We could go near that lake south of Ezerum. Near Toys Tices, however you say it. <laughs> I feel like that's a good. I feel like it's a good shot. Okay, should I, sh like. should I go for it? Like on the road to the west of it, like the main road, D nine fifty or something. So. Okay, we'll go for that then. It's Gen four, and it looks like it's been recently tarmacked back to the road, and we're going to find out where this actually is. And it was Turkey. But it was right on the Georgia border. First of all, it appears that we're in a very urban area. And it looks like we're either within the city itself or right on the outskirts of one. We are on, uh, blah, blah, blah. We are on a main road with vehicles driving on the left. The plates are mostly black but have white text on them. We also have a lot of motorbike cyclists. And we also see the plates on front of the motorbikes. The road lines are all white and we have many buildings with tiled roofs. There is a couple buildings that have a much steeper roof that is that resembles more like a pyramid of its own. It's really steep uh, like um, this unique roof and it seems to have some characteristics or some kind of patterns towards the top that I cannot describe well enough. It looks like we're on a bridge and approaching another bridge, actually, as well. And there is a sign that says, uh, I, I try my best to pronounce it, Kuma Maka, which is spelt as K-U-M-A-H base M-A-K-A-N. And it also says it on the building next to it as well. 
and it appears very flat and we're in a tropical it feels quite tropical as well um okay the country is definitely indoor yes yeah i agree definitely. i agree um the roofs the roofs sound like maybe java roofs or at least somewhere close to java it's he said it was a very like urban area the edge of like a in a city or in the yeah. edge of a city so but the, good area, the, the whole Indonesia is urban though. Yeah, yeah. We, we can be in Makassar or we can be in Medan. Yeah, know? yeah. True, true. I feel like the way the roofs yeah. were described, it sounded more Java, but not entirely sure. Like the tiled roofs, you get more. You get also like South yeah. Sumatra, I'd say. Uh, I, I was also wondering about, about like... Bali, when he said there's some decorations on the roofs, I wasn't sure if that sounded like the Bali, Bali oh. style or not, or not. So yeah, um, I mean Bali makes sense though. Bali yeah, yeah. Sense. I mean, we yeah, could yeah. go like we could go Java like close to Bali just to hedge or oh, bridge. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do we have rivers? Yeah, we're crossing one bridge, but we're crossing another bridge. That's where it. Kind of yeah. Me for a bit. I mean, Surabaya maybe uh, on the river. Yeah. I don't know. Yep. Send. We can go back. You got it. Okay. Nice one. Okay. Let's go back. All right. Meant to be visible, but then I realized on NMPZ you can't really read it. So, yeah. Uh, we'll send and we'll find out. But this is the route I was trying to describe. You can see what I was trying to say, but it was quite difficult to um, word it right. But. Here is the result, and everyone got the country right, which is Brill, but it was Bangamil of Java, and it was in the special region of Yogi Yak Yakatara, or whatever you call it. Yak Yakatara. Yeah, that's the word. But yeah, it was Bang in the middle of there. So. Okay. So. Okay, first of all, the vehicles. That are in the distance are driving on the right hand side. Uh, it appears that we're on a junction, but it kind of like goes around a bend. So we have like a main road, or maybe like a it's like an A road or some sort. It's like a pretty long road, almost like a motorway. But we got kind of goes around the bend, and I only can see the bend, so I only can see two roads. But um, that's all I can see because it's NMPZ. Um, in front of us, we have a pedestrian crossing sign. We have a mannequin that has a neck, has a neck, and we have five zebra strips underneath their feet. In terms of the environment, we have a lot of conifers, and if you want to be more specific with the conifers, they are most dominantly um, not Scot they might be Scots pine, but mostly pine pine trees. We've also got some signs, and we have a sign. With a name that says Kumo, which is K U H M O. And to the left, we have the number 68, and then a white arrow kind of pointing around the bend. And this is on the blue sign. We have two others that are pointing the opposite way, round, op opposite way to the bend. And that is Kajani, which is K A J A A N I which has the number 32 next to the arrow. And the other one is Ruo Katin Vara. God, this is going to be horrific. But um, that is spelled V-U-R-K-A-T-I-N-V-A-A-R. And that has the number three next to that arrow. We have white road lines, but other than that, that's all I'm going to describe this round. Okay. Uh, um, I found two of the places, Kumo and Kayani. Where, where was it? Actually, uh, I don't even know which country it is. Okay, this is Finland. This okay. is Finland. Um, Very confused. Uh, the Kumo. Kumo so, yeah, yeah. Finland, if Where's you look... Kumo? If you look... Uh, can you see, like, Kuopio? Yeah, yeah. And if you go far north of Kuopio, you say Kajaani. K-A-J-A-A-N-A. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then east of uh, Kajaani, we have Kumo. K-U-H-M-O. Ah yeah. Ah uh, yeah yeah. I think we're between the between those two. I can see for Kati. Oh, Kani is thirty. Was that thirty-two kilometers? Yeah. Did you you, you got that? Okay, nice. The Kumo is sixty-eight. 
and mm. Chromo 68. Okay. Uh, the third town, I don't know. So probably close to like four Kati. I think. Uh, maybe we just go close to four Kati. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You you can pick where you think where you think is good. Yeah, I guess it. Okay. This is what the round looks like. And and I'm going to send now. And we unfortunately had no five Ks, but it might as well be, you know. Um, but good stuff. So very close scores. So firstly, we are driving on the left hand side. We have a vehicle in front of us with a yellow back plate. There is also a motorbike showing a yellow plate on the back too in the distance. To the right of us, it appears that we have a fence surrounding like a large area. And there are quite a few planes that are located there. It is quite an open area and we're on a main road. Very, There's quite a lot of orange soil. Some of it appears quite bright, but I don't want to jinx that. And the grass is actually quite green and quite nice um, to some degree. And then the terrain is mostly flat and we've mostly got like more tropical or maybe at best deciduous vegetation. I don't see any conifers. Mm. So my thinking is Kenya. Um, I'm not entirely he's sure. He's uh, driving really on the left, all right? Yeah, he said driving on the left, which fits the yeah. yellow plate. Left, you know, yeah, yeah, I, I uh, think should be orange soil, can't really be UK, and he said it's a bit tropical, though. So. Yellow, uh, uh, it's tropical, so it's definitely not UK, yeah. It could be Sri Lanka, I suppose, with also you left yellow plate, Sri Lanka could fit. He said it's tropical, kind of tropical, but also a bit deciduous, which kind of uh, fits uh, both countries. Sri Lanka is yellow place. So. Yeah, yeah, they do sometimes. Can it be the Horton Plains in Sri Lanka? He said plains. It's a, it's like a near south of Kandy in Sri Lanka. Could that be an option? Because that's that's like a weird region for Sri Lanka. I wonder if it's possible. Uh, so Sri Lanka, we lock it. Um, go for it. Oh, almost. Ah. <laughs> uh. So let's find out where this is. And it was Perfect. Uganda. Okay. So it appears we are in a desert like environment with mostly exposed rock and bare ground with grayish soil and sand. So it's like a, some hints of grayish soil, some hints of sand, pretty much lack of vegetation in the soil. We also have some like plants present, which mostly consists of cacti and some sort of palm like tree, which resembles a bad herd day. So I'm not even going to research what that's actually called, but there's, there is one cactus that's much bigger than the rest, probably like two meters tall at least. It's a pretty damn big one. And we also have a church that appears to be made out of marble, or it is some kind of scam that, I've that has been painted to make it look nicer. But I'm pretty sure it's it's made out of marble. Um, and and the final thing is we also have a demolished building with some random remain of a vehicle next to it. And the environment surrounding us is quite hilly, mountainous, with a lack of vegetation on the mountains themselves. Interesting. This one is interesting. Yeah. It's, it's desert, but then mm. what took me about is the church. Yeah. Very church, amazing. so it should be a Christian country, likely. Um... Cactus as well is probably more like America, like Latin America. Hmm, possible. Um, I was wondering it's about hilly. like it's hilly. Yeah. I was wondering about like between U.S. and Mexico, as possible. Um, he said there's like a demolished house or something. I I feel like you get that more yeah. in Mexico. I don't know, but yeah. Um, yeah, Mexico is this then. I don't know because But yeah. I don't know if it could be uh, South America as well, somewhere like Andes yeah, or the dry I, I areas. Was, actually my first stop was in the 
But before he said the church, I thought it was like UAE or something. But then he says the church. Then yeah. Then switch. I was thinking, you know, uh, south, or, you know, south of Chile or South Argentina, where you see mm-hmm. one straight road of nothingness and then only just the mountains. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That. It could be like far northwest Argentina. Like, not far northwest. Far northwest, yeah. Do they have cactus there? I can't remember. Um, yeah, that's the thing. But I mean, Texas and Mexico still make sense. Though. I think it, yeah, yeah. It still makes sense. It could really be either way, yeah. Um, I yeah, feel like it could be Mexico, like on the peninsula. It's very dry, mountainous, like Baja California. Could be a could be uh-huh. a shout. Oh yes, 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 yes. This is actually an option. I think I remember uh, some cactus there. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I think I'll go Baja California. Okay, go for it. Yeah. Like, like if you realize the locations you pick is. Mm. Weird locations. Yeah, yeah. Bigger, bigger locations. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I was I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Sure, uh, go for it. Just, just in the middle of Baja California. Yeah, sounds good. Some random road. Yeah, sounds good to me. Yeah. All right. I think we can go back. Okay. Really nice. Really nice, but kind of density at the same time. But let's find out where this is. I should double check something. Good. And yeah, let's find out what this actually is. And it was Mexico. So three of you guys actually managed to get it. And it, funnily enough, was Baja California. Nice. But it was on an island, actually, east of Loreto. Righty oh. So for this round, it appears that we're in quite a wet and tropical area based. On the vegetation, based on the soil, it's kind of like a, a brownish orange, but I see more of like a hint of orange more than brown, but I wouldn't say it's orange. That's my best way of saying it. In terms of the grass, it's actually not much. Um, it's quite short. The grass is actually kind of like scattered, but we've got this very tropical-like palm tree of some sort, but I don't think it's a palm tree. It's like a quite a big bush almost. We've got some very long leaves that are like a shaped, they're like, they're like shaped like big tongs. Uh, we've also got some like pine like trees, but I don't know if they're actually pine trees, but they've got very um, long needles on them. Also, it appears that we've got some random small wooden hut, and I believe it is a toilet. So there you have it. We have a toilet on a blind round. And we actually have direction signs and i see one word two words that say highest point pointing up then we have one of them that says ted side or bedside i can't really tell because there's a leaf covering it and that's pointing up as well but it's going like more right than left and then we have another place that says adams town and that is all. And okay, Adamstown. I know exactly which island and... that should be. Uh, where is Adamstown? This is a uh, Pitcairn, Pitcairn Island, right? In the Pacific, oh, right. very small Pitcairn Ooh. Islands. Do you know? Yeah, I need to find it. Do you know where it says Pitcairn Islands, and there's an island to the southwest? It's not like the. It's not the island where it says Pitcairn Islands. It's not Henderson Island, but it's like southwest is the main island. It is one very hard to find. Yeah, yeah, it's really remote. Where you see like, can you see Andy's Pizzeria? Yeah, yeah, this one. Yes. Okay, yeah. If that's not a toilet, feel free to correct me. But I'm calling it a toilet, so too bad. <laughs> it does look like a toilet. Yeah. That- I can smell the five star review in that toilet, I'm telling you now. So, um, yeah, so let's find out. I wonder where this will be. And hopefully, all you guys have found the place. And let's see. Oh, no, no 5K. Ooh. But everybody, oh, the frame rate is going through the roof. Unbelievable, Jeff. Um, 
But yeah, oh, this is going to take so long. I'll get there eventually, guys. I'll get there eventually. <laughs> <laughs> it's so slow. <laughs> I have to buy a new PC, I guess. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Pitcairn Island, Adamstown, Big Clue. So, so, sorry, Leather, if, if you had it. Um, but I was trying to find some word mm. that kind of had some signs. Maybe I should have just not said it and made it interesting, but... And it was Anku's team who took the win. But by you... only 31 points. You... That is not much. Ooh, yeah, let's go. Slow. Wow. <laughs> GG's. Oh, nice. Wait, so does that mean Wolves won both? There's been yeah, both does. things. But thank you so much for spending time. It means a lot. I hope you probably enjoyed it.